Why do snakes change skin? Snakes have been the greatest curiosity of mythology, horror films, and even health sciences for years. They are one of nature's strangest creatures with their size, venom, and characteristics. Snakes are generally creatures that look cold to humans and often have a frightening appearance. In the lives of snakes frequented by documentaries, skin changes attract the greatest attention. Well, what are the reasons why these not-so-cute creatures shed their skin? Is there a specific time for this instinctive action? Are you ready for a magnificent journey with one of nature's most dangerous creatures? Then here we go! Snakes are creatures that cannot see beyond 3 meters and use their tongues, not their nostrils, to smell. Both ends of their long and bifurcated tongues absorb chemical odors from air and ground. Viper snakes follow the trail of their poisoned prey with their tongues and find the dead body and swallow it. Since the nostrils of the snakes are on their air tube in the lower jaw with the mouth closed, they can breathe without opening their mouth. The venom of snakes is a powerful digestive fluid that helps to dissolve game meat. Even non-venomous snakes have a strong digestive fluid that is poisonous. For example, when you insert your finger into the mouth of a snake, you experience severe swelling and burning due to the saliva in the mouth. It does not make sense to remove their teeth because, just like their skin, a new tooth will replace the tooth that comes out after a short time. So what is this change in the skin of poisonous creatures that constantly renew themselves? As it's known, snakes change their skin at certain intervals. This action is repeated by snakes at least once a year. The basis for this is that snakes are one of the creatures that are in the reptile class in the animal kingdom and bear the characteristics of this class. In the reptile class in the animal kingdom is the squamata or scaly order. Among the species living in this order, especially snakes and lizards stand out. These animals molt clearly and with some sort of necessity. In most snake species, the skin that covers their body can be replaced in one piece just like a jumpsuit. The most striking issue in these documentaries is that the snakes seem to peel off from their skin as if they're leaving their shells. However, in some snakes and lizards, shredded skins are also observed. In terms of snakes, the purpose of molting, which is settled in people's language with the phrase changing shirt, is to make it possible for the body to grow and develop, to elongate, in short, to change the existing body. The scales that surround the snakes are not flexible and they're hard enough to prevent the body development of these creatures. Because of these scales that surround the animals, snakes can grow as much as the sheath allows. Because of the snakes that surround the animals, snakes can grow as much as the sheath allows. It is observed that when more growth is required, the scales are expanded from the lower layers and a development opportunity is provided, and in narrow areas where expansion cannot be achieved, it is observed that they are thrown. In short, the main reason snakes and their scaly family molt is due to their instincts to grow and develop their bodies. Just like you had to change the shirts you could wear a summer ago this summer. Keep it in your mind, like snakes, turtles and crocodiles periodically shed and exfoliate. However, each creature's molting rate and capacity is different. This situation, on the other hand, occurs in proportion to how fast a living species grows and develops and how well it's fed, rather than differing according to the species. Ultimately, nature can continue its struggle with life without any help from people with the ability to think. For the sake of days in touch with nature and respect for this order.